What up, bros? Ah, we'll give people a little bit of time to to to, to come in here. We have a real, um, you know how we don't talk about Kanye and I on this channel? This stream is the exception. Let's wait for a bunch of people to get in here. Hello, what's up? Uh, we'll be chill about who can talk to. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Hello. What's up? Uh, we're going to talk about Calm AI in, in just this stream. Um, this is my last day in, in New York. Uh, this is my, my last day in this apartment. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to go back to comma and I'm going to make models train fast. Um, so maybe we'll start with, uh, We'll start with a, a open AI post about GPT-3 scaling. Um, does this paper go into the actual scaling curves of it? Uh, Twitch hasn't gotten back to me yet about whether I'm a partner or not. Uh, Yeah, so this, these are, these are Winograd schemas. Um, by the way, if you don't know what a Winograd schema is, uh, these things are really cool. Um, like where's, the, where's the classic one? Yes. Uh, the councilmen refused the demonstrators a permit because they feared violence. Who does they refer to? Um... So the they here refers to the, the city councilman. Uh, but then if you change the word from feared to advocated, uh, the council, city councilman refused the demonstrators a permit because they advocated violence. The they refers to the demonstrators. And there's no way by doing sort of technical analysis on that sentence um, that you can say what they refers to. You have to have a, a, uh, a semantic understanding. You have to understand that city councilmen will be more likely to, to fear violence and demonstrators will be more likely to, to advocate violence. Um, it's not about common AI. We're talking about self-driving cars. Um, so it, it's interesting to note uh, how well this scaling works. And it may be just a question of scaling up language models to get things that even pass the Turing test. Um, so the question is, is the same thing true about self-driving cars? Uh, let's see how many, let's see how many, um, how are we doing on 295? Okay. Somewhat decent. We'll get started in, 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 in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, just... The scaling is is unreasonably effective, and I think that the solution to self-driving cars is going to pretty much be the same thing. Is going to be designing now when you're building language models. Um, language models have a very simple uh, loss function. Maybe we'll we'll go back to we'll do some some vim right. Sorry. Um, so language models are basically some form of this. Uh, you want to predict uh, the next symbol. A symbol can be a character, a symbol can be a word. 
uh, say, let's say the symbol at position k, given um, the symbols uh, 1 through uh, k minus 1. Right? So given the previous text, so if I were to say something like the quick brown, right, um, and you can, you can decide, you know, everyone, uh, and then like symbol, right? Uh, so what's the probability of symbol? Um, yeah, and people already know it's Fox, right? What's the probability of symbol given uh, the quick brown, right? Um, so Fox is maybe maybe 95%, but you know, maybe, maybe someone's like making a joke about it. Uh, dog, uh, duck, uh, maybe if it's you fuckers, you write keyboard, uh, you know? We can we can we can give them all probabilities, right? Um, so this this loss function is called uh, categorical cross entropy. Uh, it's a very simple loss function, and it's it's mathematically beautiful. Uh, so what you can do, and what basically what GPT three is, is just this really scaled up. Um, I think that right now people are hyped on things like Transformer, and it's unclear how much the model architecture even matters. It's just training on a lot of data, many, many data, many, many params, uh, many, many, many compute. So that's mostly what it, what it seems to look like, and um, you know, let's say clean loss function. So uh, it's 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 pretty cool. So this is the Comet AI strategy. The Comet AI strategy is, do you want to know how to drive a car? Well, so, um, so this is language models. Uh, if you want to know how to build driving models, um, it's basically the same thing. So we have the probability of the action at time t um, given uh, the actions uh, from time one uh, to t minus one. Uh, now, there's a few problems, uh, so well, I should spell that right, categorical. Uh, so um, categorical cross entropy uh, doesn't work, right? Well, I mean, it can work. You could think about how to do it, but then you have to ask the question, what are the categories? Um, by the way, you don't, you don't actually have to do this on symbols. You could also have like the quick brown, you know, FO, uh, and now, you know, uh, you're asking the question of what's the probability of the character um, given the string, and then I think x is extremely high. Uh, maybe it's the quick brown four or the quick brown foul. Um, but uh, yeah, so for for this, but the important thing to note here is whether it's a, a word-based model or a character-based model, it's easy to see what the, what the categories are. Um, the other really nice thing about categorical cross-entropy is it's outputting a full probability distribution over the space. So fox, dog, dot keyboard, uh, it, you're outputting the probability for every single word, um, not just outputting the most likely word, uh, which, which helps the thing to train. Uh, so when you're doing driving models, categorical cross-entropy doesn't work, what are the categories? Um, so, and then also, well, another kind of related question is what is the output? Um, so, well, let's also ask the question, what is the input? Uh, so I think this one's pretty easy. It's just a video stream, you know, cameras. Uh, it's all you really need to drive a car. Human has two eyes. Uh, what is the output is a little bit trickier. So you can go all the way through uh, to controls. So um, this is, you know, multi-dimensional, uh, huge, huge, you know, let's say it's like um, 512 by 256, right? Uh, so that's something like, um, what is that? Like, uh, I don't want to do the, I don't, I don't want to do the math wrong. I think it's something like um, an eighth of a million, uh, yeah, so it's an eighth of a million, and actually, let's let's give it a bit of uh, let's give it a bit of color, uh, let's give it a bit of temporal context, and let's just round it up. Let's say it's about one million dimensions, right? Um, so the output uh, from driving a car is actually uh, really uh, how many dimensions is it? 
Does anyone know? Come on, chat. I believe in you. Um, so I hear three. Uh, why three? Three's a good. Three's a, three's a good answer. Um, so who, who, for the people who said three, what are the dimensions? Ah, that's better. Uh, left, right, straight, gas, brake, turning. Um, so I don't know where you guys are getting four and seven from, and I don't know about upward or downhill. Uh, two is the answer I like, right? Um, because gas and brake are on a spectrum, right? Uh, so this is the uh, long, let's say long XL, um, and then for, uh, yeah, yeah, or, or, or speed, uh, and then we could have like steering angle, or we could call it like, um, you know, yaw rate, it doesn't matter. But yeah, um, cars are fundamentally a, it's long and lat, yeah. Uh, cars are fundamentally a two-dimensional control problem um, because you're operating in an XY plane, right? Um, so how do you move? Well, no, that's not exactly true, right? I guess if you had a, like a Colo platform in an XY plane, uh, it would be three dimensions. So I, I shouldn't say that. But cars are basically a two-dimensional control problem. So um, why not just output that? Uh, output the two dimensions. So you run into a few problems with just trying to do this. Um, so this is putting the vehicle model, vehicle model in end-to-end uh, -end neural network. Uh, it's kind of a bad idea because what if you want to support different cars? You could train a different model for each car. You could parameterize it. Um, and then there's another problem, which is like neural networks are bad at controls um, because they can't search. Well, at least modern neural networks can't search. So model ne modern neural networks are almost always just a feed forward pass. Um, it never backtracks. Right? If you think about search, search is frequently backtracking. Uh, so what we use in OpenPilot is something called MPC. Um, MPC is model predictive control, uh, and it's a constrained search. It solves, it solves a search problem at each time step. Uh, so what's the output of model predictive control? It's, you know, uh, uh, let's call it Excel and steer. Um, and the input is a path. Right. Um, the other problem with this is how do you integrate maps? To uh, you integrate maps, um, very, very uh, temporal, right? You, if you can't just output the two dimensions at an exact time step. Um, yeah. So we have this uh, extra thing in OpenPilot called model predictive control. Um, and we've decided to operate on paths and not directly on accelerations and steerings. Um, what are the downsides? Well, so there is more code, but not much else, right? Um, so for people who are trying to build self-driving cars and operating at a level where like, they're talking about perception outputs, they're talking about like, oh, well, there's cars here and there's people here and there's lanes here. What's a car? What's a person? These things don't mean anything. Um, paths have a very clear physics-based definition. Um, not much else because the, the paths are still uh, physics-based. Um, and with paths, it's much easier to debug. Uh, a question that we frequently ask at Kama is, will what we're building now be in the final system? Um, let's talk about level five, right? The levels don't mean anything, but it's kind of what comes. Is, uh, will what we are building be in the final system? Uh, and we think that paths, yes. But otherwise, it's all a very simple thing to think about. The input to the neural network is camera. Uh, the output, well, then there's compute, right? Uh, you all remember this? Who, who watched my stream about this? Uh, you have compute, and then you have output, which is paths, right? Um, so this is the you know, neural network part. Uh, and then we have this controls part, 
where the input is paths and the output is some compute and the output is uh, driving. Right. Cool. Uh, so this part is almost done. Right. Um, this part is not even close. So we're actually missing one thing. Um, the control specification is complete, but we're missing something. Something else needs to be input into the neural network besides just the camera. Who knows what it is? And don't worry, I assume it's a 360 camera. What do you mean by planning? Well, so yeah, you say map. Why? Not radar. You don't need radar. You definitely don't need LIDAR. You don't need depth. That can all be inferred from the picture. What do you mean by driver? Ah, tuneless chan is the closest. Yeah. Um, so you ready for my theory about how to, um, let me not do my location, but yeah. Uh, so how do you put in, how do you put in the destination? Uh, what's the best way to put in uh, your destination? Right. Wait, why can't I navigate? What, I can't navigate if it's not from my location? I'm just gonna put this in, right? Yeah, I'm just literally going to put in, um, I'm just literally, oh, you guys can't see that at all, can you? Yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna like put that in, right? No one knows where to go. Um, so the input is also gonna be, uh, let's just call it ways. Um, so we have to input, we'll input literal ways, like how do humans do this? They literally just take in ways. Uh, so, you know, we can point another camera at your car's navigation system and, and that kind of solves the problem, doesn't it? Um, right. So yeah, I mean, you do need to put in, uh, you know, let's just call it a nav system. Right. Uh, so we're going to integrate that into the neural network. But even if you haven't integrated that into the neural network, you can still do a lot. You only get a little bit confused when there are choices. Um, so one way to deal with this without having nav uh, is you can also parameterize this thing as input, camera, compute, output. Well, I just actually wrote, that's just path, but this one uh, can actually have multiple paths as an output. Right. And then you can choose the most likely one. Uh, so that's what OpenPAL does right now. Um, but you see how this paradigm very easily scales to integrate navigation. Uh, so we, we break down the neural network a little bit further. Um, we break down the neural network into two components. Uh, we'll call them perception and planning. Um, but here is, the, here is the thing where we differ uh, from pretty much everybody else working in the space. Um, there is no human understandable uh, uh, state here. Right. Um, so your 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 perception and your planning model have to be connected by some. If you think you can hand label everything that connects those two models, you are doomed to fail. Uh, there's no human understandable state here. We can train them separately, but so we have a perception model uh, that takes in a camera and outputs a 1024 dimensional state vector. Um, and then we have a planning module uh, which takes in that 1024 dimensional state vector and outputs a path, outputs paths, uh, but it's trained uh, end to end. Uh, Tesla is figuring this out. Um, Carpathy is now talking about this. Uh, they know. They know. Um, I mean, Tesla. Tesla's probably a year behind Kama uh, on the machine learning stuff. Uh, they're probably two or three years ahead on the hardware. Um, they're maybe a little ahead, maybe a year ahead on like the overall code rigor. Uh, and I still think, I still think they're a year behind on their data ingestion pipeline. Um, so yeah, uh, we wrote some really nice medium posts about this and they, they got, they got very little traction. 
Uh, and it, it's so sad. Um, you know, the, 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 the self-driving car space makes me sad. Uh, you just see total idiots winning the day. Um, something that, uh, it's from the same how to drop out guy. Um, and which is something that made me think, you know, okay, I gotta, let's put some time back into self-driving cars. Uh, this is actually kind of important. Um, Crimson XX Mana, thank you for gifting subs. Uh, so this, uh, I'll link it in chat. Um, he goes into judging whether technology is, is good or not. And self-driving cars can very easily end uh, so badly. Uh, do you think you want to live in a Waymo world where, you know, oh, you made a racist tweet once? Oh, yeah, no, you can't go. You can't transport. Oh, yeah, no, that's not for you. Yeah, that's too bad. Um, you don't want to live in that world, right? You don't want to live in a world where uh, a company basically owns uh, transportation or like two or three own transportation. Oh, I got to worry about my Waymo rating. Um Right. So, it, I mean, it's already kind of a problem with Uber and Lyft. Uh, oh, it's so funny what's happening in California. You know, these idiots deserve each other. Honestly, these, these idiots deserve each other. Um, <laughs> with, the, with the AV-15, these idiots deserve each other. Those, those, those lawmakers who, oh, yes, oh, yes, all oh, the worker. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to shut down. Oh, shit. <laughs> Um, no, my business model is not to sell insurance. I don't know. You know what? Com is a profitable company, so I can do and say whatever the fuck I want. Um, as long as we're improving the product and making the users happy. Uh, you know. Uh, I'm not selling insurance. Fuck that shit. It's boring. If it's boring, uh, don't do it. No, that world's not coming soon. The world is not coming soon. Um... Don't worry about it. Uh, they're dying and everyone knows they're dying. And the reason you're seeing hysteria around it now, it's like the last gasps of a dying animal. Um, we all know what the future is, right? Uh, the 2020s are gonna be a swing back to decentralization. I mean, for example, like Google's dying, right? Google's dying. Um, the, the, the old guard, the people who ran the U.S. government for the last 40 years are dying. Look, the two major parties in America have um, been taken over by a completely different group of people. Uh, you know. um, Google's not dying. Google has built so much complexity they can barely maintain it. Where, where was, um, here, I, I saw there's an article on TechDirt. Uh, yeah, why there are currently no ads on TechDirt. Um, and actually reading this article um, made me more realize, yeah, neocons and neolibs get BTFO'd, exactly. Um, it, this showed me that, you know, you know, that you should never attribute, attribute to malice what you can attribute to incompetence. Um, no, Microsoft, well, M Microsoft went through some rough stuff. Microsoft looks a whole lot better now. Um, Microsoft, yeah, it's, they're, they're not, uh, they're, they're not dying in the way Google is. Um, well, IBM's a joke. Does anyone take IBM seriously anymore? What, what is their market cap? I can't believe it's some, someone still thinks it's worth $110 billion. Uh, they came up with some joke power PC chip, but whatever. Um, we're not really here to talk about that. Uh, we're here to talk about, and you, you guys can watch this video in three years and be like, oh, wow, you know, George was right about self-driving cars. Yeah, you know, I said the same thing three years ago. I'm so sick of saying the same thing over and over again. And now, like, you know, everyone kind of accepts. Now, the hype cycle's gone away, right? And the hype cycle's gone away not because of anything that's changed. I've been saying the exact same stuff now for almost four years. And it's just sad. Well, why don't the self-driving cars work? Why aren't the robo-taxis ready? Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I guess you really just have to win. Uh, just build the software. Right? 
and then you know laugh in everyone's faces and then i don't know like this is something i think about a lot too like uh, personally you know this isn't like going to mars right self-driving cars i don't think i don't think matter in the in the grand scheme of things uh you're just making people's lives a little bit easier but what i would like to do and what i've said for a long time is my goal with com has always been to change culture um we're gonna clown these people and i don't know i don't know if they're gonna learn their lesson i, I kind of don't think they will um i kind of think they'll chalk it up to something else just like the ranos you know they didn't, and I wrote, I wrote, I wrote multiple medium posts about that too. These ones got a bit more traction because it was, oh, George Hot's being angry and, and calling out people. These are my my two posts about that. Um, I think Microsoft and Apple will be around uh, for a long time um, because they fundamentally provide value to people and businesses. Uh, Facebook and Google, not so much. Um, you want to save lives? Don't go outside, guys. Don't go outside. Um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't give humanity any new abilities. Uh, yeah, so, so this is how we, we arrange the company. Um, and I think all of this stuff, you know, when I talk about all the things we build technically, the company structure, I want to make sure can survive until level five as well. Everything that's built at Kama should be, will this be in the final system? Um, and I think it kind of can be. Uh, so we break, we break Kama down into, into three divisions. Uh, we have the open pilot division, uh, which is responsible for kind of the plumbing, testing, uh, releases of this piece of software called OpenPilot. Um, so OpenPilot is a is a glorified wrapper around these driving models. Um, OpenPilot will be finished long before the models themselves are finished. Uh, so OpenPilot is now at uh, I think 078 is about to be released. Um, 1.0 is going to be going to be a big milestone for it. Um, Hopefully, at that point, we have open pilot as like a system uh, done. The models won't be done, um, but it'll, open pilot will just be, it'll just be cleaning up. It'll be research. It'll be, but the code for this will be written. Um, a lot of the code for research is already written as well. It's just kind of a question of scaling it up. Um, oh yeah, we have some descriptions. The open pilot division uh, builds and maintains the open pilot software, which is an open pilot source driver sister system used by thousands of people every day. Uh, they focus on safety, stability, quality, and car support in that order. Um, so OpenPilot also, uh, OpenPilot team also maintains the Panda code. Uh, so we have this other project. Unfortunately, because of the way that we have to link them uh, to make it work for forks, um, I can't click. But we have this other project called Panda, uh, and Panda is responsible for implementing all the uh, ISO 26262 checks. Uh, Tesla calls it... I forget their exact name for it, but basically if OpenPilot tries to make a, a bad request or request that would violate the safety model, the Panda code blocks it. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's the OpenPilot team. Um, we now have an office as well in uh, Rotterdam. Uh, so we have an office in Rotterdam uh, and an office in San Diego. Uh, you know, uh, I, fucking stupid. The immigration policy, you know, you have you have people who are coming here getting paid six figure salaries and paying taxes. You want to kick those people out? You're an idiot. Um, so yeah, we have an office in in uh, in, in Rotterdam. Uh, we have an office in uh, in uh, Rotterdam, uh, Netherlands. Yeah. Uh, yo, I, I don't have any bras in Atlanta. That'd be kind of cool though if I did. Um, so the research. Uh, Rotterdam. I don't know. I let I let the, uh, the 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 European contingent of the office pick the location of the office. Um, so yeah, uh, we we're, we're we're hiring we're hiring for the uh, the Netherlands office as well. Um, why, why the Netherlands? Uh, countries ranked uh, by personal freedom. Um, you guys know freedom is very important to me. Uh, 
Well, <laughs> not so much for that one anymore, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh... Terrible, ter terrible tragedy. Um, but, uh, yeah. So very, very high on, on, on personal freedom. Um, Switzerland's way too damn expensive. New Zealand has more sheep than people. Uh, Australia and Canada, you know, they were right. Um, but they're not Europe. Uh, Europe has a lot of very smart people. Um, they actually do better. Two on, on uh, oh, the Netherlands number one, number one for personal freedom. Look at that. Um, so yeah, uh, before I get distracted more. Um, so that's the open pilot division. A lot of them are now based in the Netherlands. Uh, we have the research division, um, still based in 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 San Diego. Uh, I've been looking at the South Dakota for freedom, but. Um, they make infrastructure to collect data and produce the largest supervised training data sets in the world, much larger than the 14 million samples in ImageNet. Um, so the current models, the ones, well, the ones we're about to ship are trained on 1 million minutes of data. Um, minutes, two years. So a common misconception from even people who are like, who really should know better, um, is that, oh, oh, Tesla has so much data. Oh, the data is what gives them the advantage. It's not. It has nothing to do with it. You need data, but you don't need that much of it. Um, so we're training our models now on a million minutes of data, and we think the final models will just be 10x greater than that. 10 million minutes of data is 19 years straight. What's interesting about 19 years straight? Well, it's how long a person takes to drive. Right? No, 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 no two year olds can drive cars, but 20 year olds can. Um, so there has to be enough information there in order to train. Uh, no, no, I didn't say that's why Tesla would get to level five first. Um, what they have is a REPL, they have a REPL advantage. Uh, it's not just the data. And if it was just data, God, you know how easy it would be for me to scale, comma, AI? Guys, if I wanted more data, you think I you think you think I'd charge nine hundred ninety nine dollars for it? No way. If I was data limited, I'd take the VC money and give these things away for free. But you know, I'm not. Um, uh, he's talking outside. It's always people talking. Um, no, humans don't learn to drive in six months. This is a myth. So humans are building that driving knowledge off of all of their visual priors. Their priors about objects, their priors about shape, color, and all of that stuff. Driving and walking are, are pretty simple to map to each other. Um, As people talking outside, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to listen, you know. Um, so, large supervised training data sets, um, the biggest ones probably uh, in the world, um, because the supervision is done automatically. Uh, the supervision is not done by labeling each frame. We do not have, we do not have the 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 Philippines division, uh, which is labeling all the images. Uh, we just don't have it. Okay. Um, and then uh, the operations division makes the product, the money, the website, and the app. Uh, they gather feedback from users to incorporate into further versions of OpenPilot. They design and improve our hardware, and they ship that hardware out every Monday and Tuesday, Monday and Thursday. Um, is, it, is it unsupervised? Uh, sort of. So we have another post here which goes more in depth um, into... Yeah, Tesla has a big data labeling team. Data labeling is, is going to fail. Um, we have, we have, uh, I mean, we have some amount of labeling, but it's kind of more for our mapping efforts uh, at this point. We care less about, so these labels, um, except for lanes, uh, our labels aren't semantic. 
I guess lanes and roads are both semantic. But the green things are not labeled green because they're cars. They're labeled green because they're movable. And movability is a true, is a, you have a physics-based definition for movability, right? There's three kind of motion frames uh, involved with driving. Um, there's the motion frame of, like, the purple things are literally your car. They stay fixed with respect to the camera. Uh, there's the motion frame of the road, trees, all the things that are fixed with respect to how, like, the earth. And then there's green things which move of their own kind of volition. Um, no, we just have a GitHub. Uh, people have been, shout outs, P, PJ Lau. Uh, people have been helping out uh, a lot with labeling these. Uh, we've gotten almost 4,000 images labeled so far. Um, well, yeah. So the segmentation labels are not used. The, the, they're used more for um, recovering the ego motion of the vehicle. Uh, how does your SLAM algorithm know to exclude things that are uh, moving? Like, because if you, if you detect pixels on these cars and you try to use them to recover your ego motion, you're going to have a bad time, um, especially with these things too. Um, depth is less important than you think. Uh, like, you don't need depth from a single image. You can get depth using structure from motion. Um, is a tree movable? What if it's falling down? I mean, how often do trees fall down? It, if it's off sometimes, we have outlier ejection as well. Uh, so yeah. Um, this, is, this is an output of our automatic annotator. Uh, so this, all of these labels are created using, um, are created by running, by running an algorithm over it. Nobody drew lines for each one of those lanes. They gave it like a vague idea of what a lane is. Um, you need to re-up your medium accounts. We're moving off medium. Fuck medium for us. Um, dense optical flow is poor man's image segmentation. I mean, you have to be depth aware in order to say that, right? Like, you know, you can imagine... It, 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 this gets into weird stuff where if your stuff relies... None of our segmentation relies on being particularly accurate. Um... Yeah, I know, I know. We'll, 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 we'll move off medium. Uh, I'll post my own blog, you know? <laughs> I'll put GitHub, I'll put on GitHub, man. Um, no, there's a, uh, whatever Vitalik was using for his blog, that's, that's what I used for mine as well. Uh, right. Like here. Uh, it's Jekyll, it generates a static page, and then you can host it with GitHub pages. Um, how good is monocular depth uh, estimation? Pretty good now. Um, we haven't, one of these days we're gonna push on that. Uh, we can build, we can build really good unsupervised depth nets. We, we haven't yet for a few reasons uh, that, are, that are long to go into, but. Um, so, um, most attempts making a superhuman planner involve making a perception stack to detect certain human understandable aspects of the environment, such as cars, perceptions, and lanes. Uh, a planning stack then makes plans based on these perception outputs. The problem with this approach is that the planner is limited to only make plans uh, on what is described in the hand-coded perception layer, which is doomed to never be good enough. Um, here's here's a... Uh, on that. Yeah, the problem with that is um, leverage some where Carpathia goes into describing it. When you start... If you're, if you're voyage and you're driving around the same block over and over and over again, you think that this approach is, is feasible. Uh, when you're Tesla or Kama and you start looking at uh, just the diversity that exists in something as simple as a stop sign, you realize that it's never going to work. Um, so yeah, we believe the most promising way to make a superhuman planner is to make a planner that mimics human policy. Um, a planner that learns to predict the most probable human policy for every scenario would make less mistakes than a human. So the way that we separate the vision model and the planner model, um, again, is with these uh, a thousand non-human interpretable features. This is again visualizing what's in these features. And if you notice, the important things about the scene are kept constant. The position of the cars, the position and type of the lanes, uh, where this wall is, but then the things that don't matter at all, like this sign or where the sky is or, you know, all of this stuff, 
it, it has no information about because none of it is relevant to the, to the driving uh, scenario. Um, and this is, I, th I think, a huge key. You, you can't just train an autoencoder to do this. It has to be a task-aware autoencoder. Um, we also have a driver monitoring model. Uh, I don't, I don't understand. Well, actually, I do know why Tesla hasn't shipped it yet. But uh, level two is going to be here for a long ass time. You know, uh, car companies get this. Tesla doesn't, and Waymo and Uber and uh, Arg Argo's the worst. Uh, are just so far off the deep end. I mean, you know, what do you do when you're in a Ponzi scheme? What do you do? What do you do? You keep digging? Yeah, I mean, you do keep digging. Because locally, you keep digging is what you're never going to get. How are you going to get over that activation energy, that hump? and be like, shit, man, sorry we wasted your $3 billion. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, well, they certainly are not going to start being like, wow, George said all these things three years ago. Damn, I mean, what's worse than wasting $3 billion? Wasting $3 billion when you should have known better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sad, sad, sad. Uh, we also have a post here about OpenPilot, um, written by the OpenPilot team, where we go into uh, what our vehicle planning model looks like. Like I say, we're still doing that path to um, path to action translation uh, classically. You can you can do this classically, superhuman. Um, and there's a whole bunch of advantages to doing it classically. Uh, it also lets you reason much more about like the safety. Um, you can reason about the safety. You can reason about the smoothness. Whereas of all that stuff is baked into the neural net. Uh, the neural net just kind of says where to go and about how fast to be going. And then the planner uh, takes care of the rest of that. Uh, why does OpenPilot work better on Tesla with roads with no lane lines? Because you don't really rely on lane lines. Um, I mean, for this picture, we show you lane lines because it, you know they look really nice, but actually what we're much more interested in, in uh, because people are like, oh, look, it automatically ground truths the lane lines. Wow, Connor has normal self-driving car stuff too. Um, but uh, the MQ, man, the MQ. Uh, you know, it's like the JQ, but like it matters. The machine question. What will we do about the machines? How will we incorporate the machines into society? Um, so yeah, it's, it's really, the reason it works better without lanes is because uh, of the path being uh, such a core part of how we learn. Am I gonna sell maps? I don't really care to. Um, we built all the stuff to build maps, and then we asked kind of the question, how useful are these things? Could we scam a company into giving us lots of money for maps? Yeah, probably, but why do that? We don't need to. Um, whenever you scam, you give up your integrity. Uh, the machines are learning, yeah. Um, so mostly this is a shell stream uh, to come work at Kama. Uh, we're, hiring, we're hiring like five more people over the next couple months. Um, as I've learned from the tests, uh, most, at least most of you who talk on Twitch uh, are not qualified uh, to work at Kama. Um, VIPs, uh, you guys I'm, 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 I'm much more interested in. Um, I don't care what your qualifications are. I'll give you the same kind of test. Um, we're not hiring any business people. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I do hope. I do hope that um, if you're from India, we can we can we 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 can definitely get visas. Uh, maybe not right now for America, but maybe for Europe. Um, we do not do any remote. I don't believe in remote. Uh, so you have to be willing to come to either the San Diego office or the Rotterdam office. Um, and you have to have a lot of skills. And, you know, really, you have to want to solve the problem. You know, I think a lot of companies, common in a lot of ways isn't a company, it's a project. 
after we solve self-driving cars, I'm done. I'm done. I don't, I don't care at that point. What would I do with money? You know, I'll build a college, right? I'll build a college with other people's money at that point, right? Um, we do internships. Uh, remote, just remote's just just people who work remote want to slack off. Um, you're not you're not part of the culture either. Oh uh, yeah, we have a Rotterdam office and we have a um, a San Diego office. Uh, we don't care if you have self driving knowledge. Um, we're less interested in interns. Uh, we're really only interested in interns if you can convert to full time. Um, Europeans can work in yeah Europeans can work in San Diego um, we, it, we'll put money into getting visas look I mean you research it I'm fine with sponsoring or doing whatever for that um, if you're asking what should you learn to apply uh, oh cool um, if you're asking what should you learn to apply you're probably missing the point so what are we interested in now? Well, so we talked about how I want to add navigation. Um, so I think we're going to code it in Qt. Uh, so if you do you know Qt, uh, can you build nav? Um, we have some really beautiful, okay, let me, uh, Here's a figma of what the new, what the open pilot refresh is gonna look like. I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing this off, but we'll show you, we'll show you a little. Uh, how big is the current team? We're like 15 people. Um, yes, this is just like, like what the, what we think of the new open pilot. Um, yeah, if you're not qualified, then you're not qualified. Uh, we're interested in navigation, putting that in there. Um, how much of the strategy using the research repo do we still use? I mean, it's that just scaled up. Um, so yeah, we're interested in, in for, this is a role for a navigation designer. Do you know QT? Can you build nav? Um, I'm also interested in a machine learning engineer. Um, it says this this is not ml this is infrastructure um so you know if if i told you i want uh a 10 terabyte uh you know hard drive uh, array uh and i want to read from it at 100 gigabits per second right how do we build that um, so if you saw, you know, I wrote mini key value, it's related to stuff like this, but then going beyond that, we, we have a great infrastructure engineer handling that side of things. But now on the other side of that is, okay, how do we scale up, um, our ML algorithms? Uh, we're finishing up a 40 GPU cluster right now. Um, it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, they're not very expensive. Like, look, people who want to be paid, if you want to be paid $250,000, yeah, fuck off to some scam company, you know? I'm not going to pay you $250,000. Uh, if you want to come and actually, you know, solve a problem, well, that's what really Kama has to offer. Uh, perhaps. Um, yeah, so email, give me a job at Kama AI. Uh, I'm going back to work starting... Uh, Thursday, so maybe I will take calls uh, with the most promising of you guys. Uh, no, we're paying. We're just not paying two hundred fifty thousand dollars cash. Uh, we pay. We pay. We pay. We pay appropriately for this stage of startup we're at. Oh, no, we don't pay eighty k. <laughs> we pay appropriately for the stage of startup we're at. Um, Salaries can be discussed uh, after you uh, uh, pass the, uh, the, 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 the stuff. Um, it, it's enough to live extremely comfortably. Um, you know, it's not an NDA thing. Uh, 
<laughs> it's six figures, you know? Pretty much all our starting engineers now will get paid six figures, okay? Um, and we offer options as well. Um, we offer, uh, we pay our interns. We pay our interns pretty well also. Um, yeah, we, we offer options and, and that's how you really end up making money off of this. But again, if you're the kind of person who wants to run business scams, you got out. I wouldn't let you, I wouldn't let you, you know, I wouldn't let you near common with a 10 foot pole. Um, but if you're the kind of person who's motivated to solve this problem, um, our, our company mission, uh, Uh, our comma at comma our, our mission is to solve self-driving cars while delivering shippable intermediaries um everything we do is derived from that mission and as the narrative unfolds it's looking increasingly like we will win alongside tesla and mobileye uh, mobileye is like the windows of the space tesla's the mac or the linux uh what's our interview process look like for a full stack engineer uh programming challenge phone screens and then we do on-site paid micro internships Oh God, I'm bored talking about this stuff. I don't deal with this stuff. The operations division deals with this stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to shill. Uh, I'm not hiring for Hammer. Hammer's a joke, man. Um, I'm not hiring for Comet AI. Comet AI is hiring, right? Like I'm not, you know, it's not me, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, look, can I sponsor a visa? I'm happy to tell the government whatever you want me to tell the government. I'm happy to pay for it if you pass the technical stuff. Um, I think it's all bullshit, and uh, you know, uh, comma will use its resources to make that bullshit go away. Um, can you just explain more about what we're doing right now? Sure. Uh, so the idea is to scale everything up. We've built something that is fairly end-to-end. -end. Uh, we've built something that can output, the new models now output full uh, lateral and longitudinal plans jointly. Um, so they jointly tell you, here's how you should drive the car, here's how fast you should go uh, when you do it. Uh, but we need, to, we need to scale all this stuff up. How do we go from you know, training on, on this much data to training on this much data? Um, how do we improve the quality of our data? Right? So we have this automatic ground truthing, how good is it? Well, it's like 99% good, but you know what? That 1% really starts to be a big chunk uh, once you get into... Um, once you get into... Uh, the scale that we're doing it, right? If we can fix that 1%, we'll see our losses in the model go down. Uh, so we wanna have perfect data, uh, shit tons of it, and cram it into huge models, right? Um, so th this is the other beauty of these kind of language models. It's like the data is just web scraping. You don't mess up web scraping. Um, so uh, yeah. This is not ML, it's, it's infrastructure. How do, we, how do we scale up our ML algorithms? Uh, how do we make uh, all the data perfect? Um, yeah, and these, are, these, are the, these are the two things that I'm personally, we're hiring for a bunch of other posts, but the two that I'm personally interested in, in speaking with are machine learning engineers and uh, navigation designers. Um, like, like, can you build ways, right? open source ways, right? Basically what we're building, um, we'll say like Mapbox backend, uh, something that we can switch to our own open street map uh, if we ever choose to. Uh, yeah, can you build open source ways that, that, that people actually wanna use? Um, do you know React? Uh, add, so the, we, have, we have like the comma app, kind of the flow that we're thinking about for navigation is we're going to go in here like here's like here's like the comma prius um it's connecting to it right now that's a live screenshot from the prius in the office uh the car battery's at 12 volts so that's a little low um but what we'll be able to say is like you'll be able to click a button on here start a new trip you'll be able to search right here on your phone for where you want to go and then say send to the device and then the device is like ready to go um so add uh, nav sending uh, support uh, to app. Uh, this is gonna be a comma prime only feature. Yeah. Um, no, we don't use anything like Django. I don't know what Iconic even is.
Oh, they're watching my stream. <laughs> they're watching my stream at the office. Um, we don't add support for cars anymore. Uh, community members add support for the cars. If you want to add support for the Renault Zoe, uh, you guys can do it. Um, yeah, I think we, I think our apply rate, I think it's actually harder to get into Comet AI than it is to get into Harvard. Uh, I think Harvard accepts like 8% of their applications. I think Common AI accepts less. Um, no, most people we've recruited from around. Uh, like what you say, like, oh, we're in the Bay Area. Do I want to hire the people who are like, I moved to the Bay Area so I could be a thought leader blockchain influencer. Yeah, you're not, you're not who Common AI wants to hire. Um, so yeah. Uh, I, I really want I really want someone who's going to come in and own this navigation project. This is this is what Elon does when he wants someone good, right? He just like he like tweets about it. Maybe this kind of stuff works. Um, no, I mean a lot more people you th filter themselves out before they before they send an email to to to, to give me a job at Com AI. Oh, Harvard's at four point seven. Oh, we got to stay competitive. No, that's a bullshit metric. Wouldn't it be nicer if everyone in the world was just smarter? Um, no, we're allowed to talk about self-driving cars now. Uh, how does the infrastructure engineer interview look like? What you want? You want to know the questions? What you, you're trying to pull a Hillary Clinton for the debates? You know, um, woke need not apply. I, I don't. You're not going to be asked any political questions. I don't give a shit, man. Um, you're going to be at. You know, you want to come here? You got to focus. Like that's just what it is. Um, no, we're not open to remote positions. No remote. Remote is kill. Uh, it's called OSM end. Yeah, I've looked at them, except they're all crappy. Right? Like, has anyone... Well, this actually has a surprisingly good rating. Is it open source? Huh. Um, wow, I feel like I downloaded this and I was upset by it. Let's try it. Just download it on my iPhone. The UX sucks. Yeah, we'll try to navigate somewhere on this. Wow, it has good it has good ratings though. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we want to write our own front end. Basically, we want to use Mapbox. I think Mapbox can generate nav. Um, Mapbox GL looks pretty beautiful. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. They have like beautiful 3D looking ones. Yeah, I want like 3D looking. We want to make the UX good. We want to build a really usable navigation app uh, that we can then integrate with OpenPilot. Um, we'll pay for Mapbox. Well, this is why it's a comma prime only feature. Uh, so this covers uh, Mapbox API costs. Um, eh, well, I think we'll do a good job on UI. Uh, yeah, fuck Google. Um, Google, Google Maps. Google, what Google did with Google Maps is evil. Uh, they priced it really low, they scorched the earth of all the competition, and then they jacked up the price. Anti-competitive! Um, classic anti-competitive tactic, you know? Hey, hey, DOJ, hey, you know, if you're interested, hey. Um... Did I interview anyone who passed the test, but in the interview is extremely unskilled? We do a pretty good job. Um, to repeat which maps I want to, we want to use, I think we're going to build something custom. I mean, th there are map box, there are APIs which will give you the navigation. Pretty much all we need to build, like can you build open source ways front end? Let's just say it's the front end. Uh, the actual navigation, I believe Mapbox uses something called Valhalla to do the planning. Uh, 
yeah, and then they hired the team, we made it. Um, overall, we like Mapbox. Uh, open source routing engine. So we can use we can use this routing engine. We can even use Mapbox's servers to get it. I'm not that worried about the cost. Uh, I am worried about making sure the front end looks good. It's built into OpenPilot and we get people to actually use it. Um, and then, yeah, machine learning engineers who are gonna come in and, and scale up the ML. So, you know, better scale, better data. All right, better scale, better data. Uh, why are we building a nav? Because, you know, <laughs> we talked about this, right? Here's your input, right? If you if all you have is a camera, you can have to output paths. How do I know whether I'm turning right or going straight at the light, right? Um, what's hard about the scale? Oh, well, actually build it, right? Can you build something that scales to GPT-3 size? I think that's what it's gonna take. Uh, any potential for using audio perception in cars? You ever get that thing in Uber where it's like, yo, your driver's deaf, and then they get you where you need to go? Yeah, that's what I think of audio perception in cars. Um, with Maps, we can beat what Tesla's currently doing. Uh, at least last time I used Navigator on Autopilot, I think their integration approach is pretty bad. Um, yeah, I mean, well, look, we gotta build it, right? It's not, no shit, we gotta build navigation. Everyone knows this. Uh, there's like some false starts on the project, but you know, there's false starts on things, and then like it's third time's the charm, second time's the charm. We'll get someone good in here to build it. Uh, security, what do you mean by security, man? Everyone who's like, what is security? Security is just good software engineering. Uh, YQT, what else would we use? Um, I don't want some like heavyweight ass React, HTML, JavaScript, TypeScript. Was transpiler shit? No. Um, yeah, C plus plus. That's a programming language. Uh, Tesla uses Qt as well. LLDB. Uh, Google Maps does not even offer navigation. And Mapbox gives us an approach to move away from them because it's open source. And it's not that we actually will. Look, I'm happy to pay. I'm happy to pay their costs if their costs are lower than ours. But it's you're not going to get locked in the same way you would with something like Google. Oh, um, maybe I could compile Qt with Wasm. Self-supervised, self-driving car models coming from Mr. Jan Lacoon. Uh, policy under uncertainty. I don't know if I've seen this. How old is this paper? Huh, this is an interesting paper. Learning a policy using only observational data is challenging because the distribution of states that induces at execution time may differ from the distribution observed during training. Yeah. Holy shit, this is super smart. Oh my God, this is kind of what we're doing. This just shows you that like no ideas are secret. You're supposed to train a policy by unrolling a learned model of the environment dynamics over multiple time steps while explicit. Wow, I can't believe this is a year old and I didn't see it. Um, we're doing something similar to this. These are, these are the common AI secrets that you find out once you come to work here, because this is an extremely hard problem. Um, let's see how they're actually doing it. So there's a few problems with this, uh, namely, well, okay, so a learned model of the environment dynamics. What's your loss function on that? Um, it's two years old. Wow, I don't know how I missed this one. Uh... Look at what they're doing though, it's not like. And then how do they make a, well then that's the other question about this rollout, right? Like you can't just train straight up supervised. You, you wanna be able to sample um, from the distribution of the future. We have like, like this is similar kind of to what MuZero is doing. Um, yeah. 
this is this is just this is a very succinct way of, of, of explaining what the problem is. Um, learning a policy using only observational data is challenging because the distribution of states it induces at execution time may differ from the distribution observed during training. Um, so this is the, there's another paper that goes into this more um, invitation to imitation. Uh, I like this one. Uh, that like like go really goes into depth uh, about this problem. It encourages the policy to stay in situations it understands. Yeah, we'll we'll have, we'll have to look and we'll have to see uh, how exactly we can we can integrate into this. So what we've built at Comma, we've built basically this. Um, yeah, we, we built this around the same the same time horizon. I, I guess you know, like really, this this is just a, a reminder of something that I definitely believe. It's that there are no ideas. Trust me. Whenever you came up with the idea, someone else came up with the idea too. Um, so we we do it slight. Yeah, that's not even exactly true. We we do something pretty similar to this now. Um, we don't have this uncertainty cost. We generate uh, we generate new ground truth to deal with the state divergence problem, um, and we generate that new ground truth in an environment dynamic simulator. So we we built like an explicit simulator. Uh, we haven't had luck yet with learned models of the environment dynamics, but this is another place that we'd like to take this right. Um, so you can think about. So we have some we have some feature vector that I think I'm very happy with. So we have this like one or two four dimensional uh, vision feature vector. Um, now we have that vision feature vector, you know, um, from one to time t minus one. Now like you know we want to generate uh, vision feature vector from like let's say t to like t plus you know 100 right. So I want to I want to generate that. Um, so a few things about this model, I need to be able to sample from it, right? Um, not one rollout, uh, rollout. Um, the I mean, uh, samples uh, must come from uh, the distribution. Right. Uh, so given just those two requirements. I mean, like, what's your loss function here, uh, and what's your, you know, sampling mechanism here? Uh, it's kind of what makes that stuff tricky. Uh, just use BERT. <laughs> well, see, and this 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 gets to what we spoke about up here, which is uh, categorical cross entropy um, allows you to sample. Uh, in a way that this stuff doesn't. But uh, this is cool, and I will definitely uh, read more about it later, uh, and maybe there's some insights we, we, we haven't exactly had on this problem. Um, but for now, a lot of it still is, uh, like, how do we scale up our ML algorithms? How do we make all the data perfect? Um, we, we think that even with our current approach, um, our current approach uh, will get to level three. Right? Um, without fancy, fancier uh, loss functions. Uh, yeah, loss function is the entropy between the two distributions. Okay, how do I calculate that? <laughs> right, sure, that's great in theory, yeah. Um, I mean, this is, right, so I could, I could have a discriminator, uh, which takes in, you know, uh, real, fake, and uh, outputs like KL. Um, level three meaning the system knows every time it's going to make a mistake. Uh, that's that's kind of the the technical definition of it. Uh, the system never messes up and doesn't know that it's messing up. Uh, if anyone would like to bet against Elon getting to level five by the end of 2020, uh, I'll take your I'll take your action. Uh, The levels are stupid. Level four is a scam. Can yeah, robot taxis? I twenty twenty. Yo, 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 yo. Real question. 
What has more revenue? Oh, sorry, not revenue. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Burn rate. Waymo or Chandler, Arizona? Think about that. It's how many people are there in Chandler, Arizona? Chandler, Arizona. Um, okay, okay. I mean, that is a lot of people, but like some of them are children and stuff, right? Uh, so then median uh, household uh, income, well, uh, I guess, I guess median per capita income in Chandler. Does that like include like children and stuff? Wow. People's in Chandler are rich. But no, does income per capita, oh, here we go. The total number of households is that and the average household income is that. Okay. So $6 billion uh, a year, right? Now what's the Waymo uh, burn rate? $16 billion, eh? Oh no, that's, that's, that's all of them combined. Um, did, does Waymo burn? I mean, I would say it's comparable. I would say Waymo and Chandler, Arizona are comparable inside. Yeah. <laughs> Kodak, after giving up on photography, blockchain, and drugs, is now a self-driving car company. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? The importance of calibrating your deep models. It sounds like they're gonna like sell me a Calibrator 9000. Hmm. Multi-class classification problem. Huh. Oh no, I see what they mean by calibration. Oh, this is interesting. This is like the rationality meaning of calibration. It's cool. We'll check out this paper too. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're interested in Kalman filters, check out our beautiful Kalman filter library, comma AI red nose, beautiful Kalman filters. Uh, I wrote the C++ in it myself. It's very fast. Uh, no, Harold really wrote the whole thing. I just, I, I wrote like 10 lines. Um, yeah, yeah, learning about calibration and checking out the Jan LeCun paper. Uh, cool, I, you guys gave some good paper suggestions. I'm happy with chat today. I'm, I'm happy with you guys. You guys have redeemed yourself for being generally shitty. Um, wait, there's ads in stream? Am I a Twitch partner? Wait, yo, am I a Twitch partner? I didn't do that. Did they make me a partner? Oh, I'm not allowed to look at my creator dashboard on screen. You guys yelled at me last time I did that. Well, maybe I'm a Twitch partner. Good to see 900. Yeah, I got ad blocker too, bros. You gotta get your ad blocker up, you know? Um, if a common AI contest could meet on the road, do they fight to show dominance? <laughs> Eventually some stupid academic is gonna write like, uh, driving is really just a game of chicken played out many, many, many times. And that's why self-driving cars can never exist. And then that's why comma is gonna include in the new versions of OpenPilot, uh, how like chicken are you? And you'll be able to slide the chickenness. Um, and like, if you challenge someone to like the traditional game of chicken, uh, you know, if you slide the chickenness all the way up and never, the chickenness all the way down, it never swerves, man. You know chicken? Uh, yeah. 
this is appropriate. The special effects were bad. <laughs> Alright, well, that's chicken. <laughs> you, you can also play chicken where you drive the two cars at each other, and then the first person to swerve is the chicken. I think that's the more traditional version of chicken that I've seen. Uh, you know, you two cars and like, vroom, 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 and then you drive at each other, and then whoever swerves is the chicken. Um, why'd they destroy their cars? Yeah, you know, the Flynn effect, bros. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I think that's today's stream. Um, OSM end maps. Oh my god, the first thing it has to do is download many megabytes. Will RK, thank you for, for gifting subs. Uh, yeah, but the main moral of this stream is if you're interested in a job um, and you want to work on improving uh, our machine learning stack or you want to work on building our navigation uh, I'm interested in, in, in hiring you um, and I hope you know I think I think these things kind of do get around uh, like uh, we're gonna win you want to join the winning team um, you know, I mean, Tesla, Tesla's gonna, Tesla's gonna win too. If, if you're interested in going to work for Tesla, you can, you can go work for Tesla, come work at Com AI. If you want to be eventually strangled by middle management from Intel, go work at Mobileye. Uh, if you want to like, you know, I, I take down big buckets of money while doing nothing to actually advance anything for the world, consider a company like Waymo or Argo. Um, how can you apply? Uh, Ama.ai slash jobs. Uh, we're working to solve level three in three years. I think we can do it. Um, I don't say things like level five in 2020. Also level five in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Um, level three uh, in 2023, I think is actually an achievable goal uh, by what we, based on what we have now. Um, yeah. Uh, Takama, we gotta update this. We gotta include Rotterdam. Why isn't Rotterdam on here? Do I just need to refresh better? No Rotterdam. Um, but yeah, uh, software engineers, uh, ML engineers. Where's my navigation designer? Yeah, can you build a ways like app people will use? QT5. Um, how new is Rotterdam? I think it opened like, uh, like a week ago or something. It's pretty new. Uh, but see, do you see that? Do you see that federal government? 
all that happens when you ban immigration is now I'm sending a big wire transfer to Europe every month, you know? Dumb, dumb, dumb. No remote work. Uh, if you're interested in Rotterdam, if you're interested in questions of who's managing it, you'll find that all out uh, later. We got, we got, uh, I don't know if it's Trump. I, look, I'm not going to go into who did it, man. It's just fucking stupid. Uh, you know, you know, the George Hatz immigration policy is very straightforward. You want to come here? One rule. Pay fucking taxes. You want to come here? You want to give more money to the government than you take? Congratulations. Welcome to America. See, that's how you run a good business, boys. Um, duh, I don't know. How big is the Rotterdam team? I don't know these things, man. That's not the team I'm on. I'm on Team Shill, and I'm on the uh, machine learning team. Uh, machine learning engineers. I'm, I'm working on our current model is taking nine days to train. That's nine days on eight GPUs. So we just built a new machine. Um, we built a new machine. We built a nice 40 GPU cluster connected with 100 gigabit interconnects. 100 gigabits InfiniBand. Yeah. And we got the Mellanox Connect 5s, which means that we can DMA directly from GPU memory on one computer to GPU memory. Well, we can DMA directly from the GPU memory to the InfiniBand card uh, without having to go through the CPU. And then we can, you know, blit that over that InfiniBand fiber uh, to the other computer. So if you like playing with stuff like that, um, very excited for NVIDIA's new GPU. As much as I hate NVIDIA, you know, like as a business, I, I look, I don't hate NVIDIA. I think they've lost their way. I think that when their stock went up, they became, you know, like NVIDIA, look, Jensen's a good guy, man. He's a, he's a good guy. And, you know, you start seeing that stuff, you get kind of, you get kind of like caught up and like, we're going to own the future forever. And yeah, that's what every company thought that had their, 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 uh, their stock price run up like that. And they're like, now we can just overcharge everybody for everything and the stock will go up more. Yeah, well, you know, it's not working for everybody who tried this. Yeah, yeah, too bad. Yeah, yeah, Intel died, yeah. Is NVIDIA? Wow, NVIDIA passed Intel. Wow, NVIDIA has blown Intel away. Wow, wow, NVIDIA is, oh, wow, this shit's overvalued, man. Wow, this shit's overvalued. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? One of these days they're going to push me and I'm going to start building AI accelerators. One of these days they're going to push me and I'll build the right thing. I'll build the right thing in NVIDIA's competitive advantage. Mm, well. NVIDIA owns Mellanox! Fuckers, man. Uh, wow, this shit's insane, though. Really? Really, though? I mean, I guess <laughs> all the Intel lost money had to go somewhere. Uh, oh, my God. Please don't let them buy ARM. Please don't let them buy ARM. Block that. Block that. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I saw that GPU. I saw the GPU that has the port. Um, <laughs> no wafers for Intel. Yeah, Intel has your 10 nanometer coming. Uh... At least NVIDIA is pushing tech forward. It's true. It's true. Um, two things. Two things that I think are uh, NVIDIA. At least the last. Or, well, we'll see what happens with Ampere. We'll see what happens with Ampere. Um, Turing was the GPUs were scammed, um, and and like NVIDIA knew it, but they didn't really care. They're like, look, we're NVIDIA. What's anybody gonna gonna do with us? Um, yeah, so if you want to build a competitive, by the way, if anyone out there builds AI accelerators, here's how you build a competitive AI accelerator. One, whatever bullshit you're saying is going to distinguish yourself, like we've hand tuned it on transformer, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares, right? Get rid of all that shit. Don't like, oh, we're going to sell it to cloud providers. We're going to provide an exclusive AI cloud. Don't do that. Build a card, build a PCIe card, 300 watts right? PCIe card, 300 watts. Sell it for $1,000 and you put, um, 
you know, you build, 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 no, you probably have to sell it less. If NVIDIA is selling their GPU, their consumer GPU for $1,000, price it at half the price of NVIDIA's GPU, have the same number of flops, and then make sure you get it integrated with upstream TensorFlow. Whatever it takes, get it integrated with upstream TensorFlow. Um, a ATI, whatever AMD, whatever it takes, get it integrated with upstream TensorFlow. No, I'm not downloading and building ROCKM from source. Um, every time NVIDIA does something stupid, they're like, look, well, we could do this, this, this trick, and if you just use the NVIDIA stack, no. NVIDIA wins for one reason. They built a 300 watt PCIe card that has a lot of flops that's integrated with TensorFlow. Build the same thing, price it for less. Um, and don't scam like NVIDIA, don't have like, oh, well, this is the version for data centers and this is the version for consumer. Don't do that. Um, yeah, integrate it with PyTorch as well. You're gonna have to do PyTorch and TensorFlow. Um, we still use TensorFlow, should we switch? Maybe we should switch. Uh, we trained at FP32, but it's just because we have 1080 Ti's. We'll switch to FP16 when we can. Um, yeah, it's working well for TPU. Google, do you want to own this market? You're going to have to do something that's on Googly. Oh, you're not going to be able to sell it because nobody uses Google Cloud. You're going to have to put it on a PCIe card and sell it to people for $500. Um, I don't know. They, they kind of seem even. You you have... You have TensorFlow is gross, but Google throws so many people at it that it kind of works. Alan Robertson, thank you for subscribing. Uh, will the NVIDIA TF, oh, NVIDIA's new scam 32-bit that's not really 32-bit? We'll see. Um, you can't build an autoencoder. The problem with an autoencoder is it's going to memorize the location of all the trees. It's useless. Uh, you've waste, you waste all your features on that. Um, PyTorch is great, but Apex sucks. You mean the video game? This girl who plays Apex. Uh, do I like Fortnite? Not really. Uh, should I, I was thinking of playing uh, Fall Guys. Should I play Fall Guys on stream? Uh, should we play Fall Guys? Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do a Fall Guys stream. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do a Fall, fall Guys stream uh, next time we have time to stream. All right, I think we'll leave it on that note. Uh, if you're interested in coming to work at Com AI, uh, if you like, you know, solving problems, uh, open source, yeah, you know, you just you just can't take. You're fed up with the lies. You want to come to a place where we don't make ridiculous promises. All we promise is that regressions are going to be really rare. If every day. We're making the system better than it was yesterday. If you're stuck in a hole and you're trying to climb out of a hole, it doesn't matter how fast you're doing it. It just matters that every day you're making more progress up than you are sliding back down. And that's our real philosophy for solving self-driving cars. Um, you like being lied to? Nah, you wouldn't be a good fit then. Yeah. Oh my God. I hope, I hope that, that, that anybody who's seriously considering working at Comet AI isn't like, but they only have one camera. I wonder if George is an idiot and thinks that you can build the whole thing with one camera. No, I don't think that. You know how easy it is to add two more cameras? Mad easy. You know how easy it is to get to the performance limitations with a single camera? Insanely hard. It's all software. Nope, can't show the new OpenPilot UI again. That was a one-time offer. That was a one-time offer. Uh, my fall guys on my machine with 40 GPUs. It's not, it's, it's five machines interconnected with big Mellanox cards. Uh, why open source your software? Because freedom, bro. Freedom. It doesn't matter. If you're trying to rent seek off software, you're a loser. Um, you know, like, uh, I mean, who, who still does that? Even Microsoft doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, software is hard, yeah. Uh, those five machines are like 35K each. Uh, a bit less. Uh, but yeah, we have, we have a huge, uh, we have a huge data center. 
Um, we got like, I think we're, we're up to like 1500 cores now. The thing draws like 60 kilowatts of power. Uh, no, no, we're doing a Fall Guys stream. Yeah, Fall Guys stream. Uh, no, the whole, the whole data center costs like, what are we up to now? Probably like half a million, maybe more. Um, yeah, big electricity bill. Uh, yeah, we have two petabytes of spinning storage. Uh, whatever, four times four times 20. 320 terabytes of uh, SSD storage. Uh, why not rent a data center? Because, look, if you rent a house, it'll be paid back in 30 years. Rent a house. Like, if you rent a house versus buy a house, right? Like, it's like, they, this is different for different cities, but the average is like, like 20 or 30 years. Um, for cloud, shit pays for itself in under a year, especially if you're buying used hardware. Um, use the new efficient net B7? You mean like the norm, like, is there a new one? We use efficient nets. Uh, no, I haven't seen anything now. Um, yeah, we don't even colo, we just, we have them in the garage. Um, even colo is kind of expensive. We just, we, we, we're, we're training models for so much less money than everybody else. Um, See a correct way to use a, yeah, I got a, I got a 1500 core computer. Uh, it's got like, it's got like 50 something GPUs. Um, it's not big enough to train. It can train GPT-2. I don't think it can train GPT-3. Building your own cloud is so much cheaper than renting. Um, also, it forces you to think in better ways. Um, if you believe in the unlimited compute of the cloud, you're scamming yourself, right? Like your, your, your efficiency per compute so companies that build on the cloud, um, because they're not actually physically building the data, they don't really care about the efficiency of it at all, right? Um, and this is fine if you're all about like the VC model of like, okay, we're just gonna get tons of money. Um, but it, it's much easier if you currently have a model that you're capable of training like on your local machine, I can scale that up 100X and I know how to scale it up 100X if I really wanted to. If you've already built at the cloud scale, there might be nowhere to go, right? Um, we're, we're still working out a lot of the, like when I talk about this, this infrastructure, right? This is not getting more GPUs. This is making sure we build the stuff that efficiently utilizes the hardware we have to the point once it, become, once it makes economic sense, we can flip the switch and we can scale it up and make it crazy huge. Right, um, you needed to build GPT before you built GPT two. T two, you needed to build GPT two before you built GPT three. Uh, our data center is capable of training things that are GPT two scale, not GPT three, but we can scale that up w when we have to. Um, why not use an ASIC? Yeah, we're not at ASIC scale yet. Uh, Tesla's using an ASIC. I don't think we have to own that part. Tesla's way more vertically integrated than we are. Um, I trust that some company will eventually take my advice and build, start with the 300 watt accelerator card and then build the edge thing. Don't start with the edge thing and then be like, eventually we're gonna ship, like Google, you know, Google actually sells their TPUs, but they sell it in the stupidest form factor. You know, they sell it in a, a USB stick. Well, why don't you get a USB stick to accelerate your AI? My CPU does that better. Right? I don't understand who this form factor is for. All the people out there using Raspberry Pis, seven people, All right? Oh wait, no, 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 the hobbyists, right? A million hobbyists and seven serious people. Um, yeah, they're so stupid. Uh, they build these like little, like nobody wants this. Oh yeah, look, I stuck it on a Raspberry Pi. Nobody wants this. 300 watt accelerator cards, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Build me that, but with a good chip that's supported in the software. Um, what's wrong with hobbyists? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with hobbyists as a hobby. But when a company like Google thinks they're going to like, you, you, they can't resist, man. They cannot resist. They cannot resist injecting their ideology into a chip. Right? It's a chip, man. 
I'm gonna buy it, Google, and I'm gonna build malicious and privacy destroying AI. <laughs> <laughs> Carpathy built mini GPT. Wow, cute man. Carpathy, good to see you still have time for stuff like this. No, you know who's evil? People who are shoving their ideology down your throat with the purchase of a chip. Oh, it's going to improve, strengthen society, improve the environment, and enrich lives. <laughs> like, just, just when you think, is it a parody or is it not? You can't tell, man. You can't tell. You cannot tell. Uh, let's see who's serious about. I see Jim Keller's name in there. Let's see what we got. Are these all the people building... Yes, Rebus. These people, they're, they're, they're really bought into the cloud model, though. And you shouldn't buy into the cloud model. Um, because, like, one of the beauties of, one, one of the reasons uh, the CPUs work so well in the cloud is developers develop locally. And then when they push it to the cloud, it's the same CPU, right? The same Docker container that runs on their local machine runs on the cloud. If you have custom AI accelerators that only exist in Azure, nobody's going to want to develop for that. Um, oh, Carpathy has his own Twitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, Carpathy, you know, look, look, I, I think, I think he, he's, he's been saying a lot of the same stuff. You know, we, 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 welcome to, 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 to team truth about self-driving cars. My suggestion, risk five. I like risk five. Um, oh, graph core. See, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what they got. Mm. Okay, I can buy it. How much is it? Can I buy a PCIe card, or I got to buy a custom crap that goes in my data center? Oh wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't tell me this is the company who's building the really large chip. Oh my God, the wafer scale chip company. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, you know, some VC somewhere who doesn't know too much about chips is like, oh, it's wafer scale, man. Bro, it's wafer scale. Why'd you put it all in the same chip? Why? See that? This is the right thing to build. Each one of those chips draws 300 watts. Put four of them in there, you know? Put four of them in a 1U. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, what do I think about the Apple ARM transition? Fuck Intel. Intel? Yo, does this guy is like Intel X engineer what's wrong with intel uh yeah, yeah yeah this guy this guy this guy went on a youtube rant about what's wrong with intel and, you know, um fortunately i couldn't and at the end like at the beginning it's, at the beginning it's a bunch of technical stuff um at the beginning he like talks about some like specific technical decisions like you know linus torvald says like avx 512 is stupid and avx 512 is stupid but that's not really the problem with intel right like how do you end up at avx 512 Next, the MBAs. Um. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, so this was, the, this was the old culture of Intel. You had constructive confrontation um, when meeting external people, when designing, you know? Nice guys on the top, cancer. People with skills on the top, good, right? Uh, doers over management, open cubicle. Modern Intel. Oh my God, Intel's press relations. I want to win. <laughs> no, it's not even security. Like Intel is an example of a truly broken company. Um, pro tip, the more you see ideological garbage uh, on a company's website, uh, the more they're failing as a company. 
Um, if I go to Tesla, I'm not going to find anything about, you know, there's not going to be an ideology, right? Just sexy pictures of a car. <laughs> cheap solar panels for roofs. Solar for new roofs. It's cheap. You can also buy that. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Notice, notice how none of these things are like, you know, safety, high impact protection, right? Cool, man, I like that. Look at that, 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 looks, that looks safe. It legitimately looks safe. You put a huge battery at the bottom, very low rollover risk. Good, I like this. Look, there's, they're informing me and educating me. Oh, it's fast. Yeah, I mean, they're fast, that's true, right? Coral. It's flexible enough for startups and large scale enterprises. Can I bend the board? That's what I'm thinking about. Oh, industries, building smarter cities, manufacturing more efficiently, helping people get around. Mm. All right, wait, we like GraphCore? I don't know. GraphCore is not the idiots making the wafer scale chip, right? Oh, it's these people. Uh, so, oh no, never mind. I think these Colossus MK2s, are they, is that wafer scale? Colossus MK2. Okay. Um, can you put one of these on a PCIe card and does it draw how many watts? Tell me watts. No, 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 no. See, this is wrong. What software do I want? TensorFlow and PyTorch. And if it's a fork for a while, that's fine. But once you become dominant, Google will merge your fork. Sorry, I'm not using the Poplar SDK and I'm definitely not using the Pop Vision visualization and analysis tools. It supports both of those, okay. Look at the diagram. Oh, there's a diagram. Good, good. All right, good, good. They wrote their own XLA. Okay, fine, 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 fine. It, it sits on top of that. All right, I like that. OEM PCIe servers. Okay, I like that. Packs one pay to flop. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. Teraflops of AI compute. Is that uint8? Is that float32? Um, I mean, this isn't, selling the machine like this isn't necessarily bad. I mean, if, if you're trying to, this looks like a straight up competition with Google. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not water cooled. It has these fans, but like, yeah, how many, how many Watts is that whole thing drawing? Wow. That whole thing's just cooling. Oh, and those are the chips. Okay. Cute. Um, Wait, 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 wait. Why do I have an IPU gateway SOC? Mm, okay, I mean, maybe that's how Google's doing it with the TPUs. Maybe that's okay. All right, can I buy one? Let's buy one. IPU machine M200 and 2000 buy now. Uh, okay, I can watch video. Um, it's radical. That's, you know, concerning. Um, all the people who have qubits use them. So wh where's the, where's the buy link? It's 32K. Wait, how is that competitive with the, with Intel? Oh, and it's going to take a couple phone calls. Oh, sorry. How is that competitive with, with, with. Wait, 32K for a pay to flop. What, why do I have phone calls? I don't want phone calls. I want to buy one. How do I buy one? Oh, I got to contact their sales. No, 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 no. So you, you build card? No, no, no. I want, I want card. I want, I want PCIe card, and I want to go to Amazon.com, or I'll buy it from your website. You want to have a Shopify? That's fine. I'll buy it from your Shopify. Uh, all right, all right. Blog, blog. Why do they do that? Because, you know, yeah, I'll tell you why companies do that, right? The reason companies have a contact us for sales is because they know their product isn't actually profitable, right? If anyone had a product that was actually profitable, uh, they would just put it up for sale, 
at a price, right? But if you know that the real price trade-off would be made some other way, then you're, you're pulling a scam, right? Whenever you see this, whenever they gate you and force you through a salesperson, it's because if you were free to make your own decision, you would not choose them, right? There's no other reason to do that. If you truly have a product that's competitive, put it on Amazon. Or fine, I don't care. If you don't want to deal with Amazon, do a shop. Right? I dealt with Amazon. I get why you might not want to put it on Amazon. Fuck Amazon. Um, but, you know, a Shopify, some fulfillment stuff. Okay, can I buy this? Taboola. Who's Taboola? The first company that sticks them on Amazon. You know, didn't, that, didn't Bitmain make AI chips? Can I buy these? Well, no, but see, no, 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 no. I've seen this one and they failed because it's only 75 watts and they didn't listen when I said it has to be th oh, 30 watts. So that's even more pathetic. But this one, 75 watts, that's not enough watts. Put four of the chips on there. Now we got a good number of watts. Um, yeah, they don't know the price. They, they, they're just, it's whatever, you're, it's whatever you're willing to pay, man, you know? I'll sell you this this can of soda. How much? What are you willing to pay me for it? Um, no, 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 no. Okay, I like Amazon. I like Amazon as a consumer. Purchasing off Amazon is a great experience. Selling on Amazon is a nightmare. Um, oh, guys, you know, I talk about a lot of companies I don't like. Let's talk about companies I like. I like Amazon. I like Apple. For the most part, I like Microsoft. Um, I like Tesla and SpaceX. Why is 300 watts important? Because, you know, that's, I wanna fill my server up with this thing, right? I wanna buy some cheap, shitty servers, and I wanna, I wanna fill them up with these cards. I like Pornhub, that's a good company. Um, I don't like Facebook. I don't like Twitter. No, what do you mean? I, I think like most companies I feel kind of indifferent about, right? Like, you know, whatever company made this mask, right? I don't, you know, I might not like masks, but I don't have a problem with that company. Um, Reddit's a bunch of sellouts. I like Wikipedia. Fuck TikTok. Uh, TikTok's the most degenerate shit, you know? Like at least Instagram glorifies beauty. TikTok is just like people being degenerate. Um, does higher wattage mean higher flops? Well, uh, you, basically two things determine the number of, like unless you build something that's really inefficient, which I don't think a lot of these people have, two things are really gonna determine your amount of flops. Um, your process that you've used and then your number of watts, right? So if it's a seven nanometer chip, it's the watt scale with flops. And this is true all the way down to like, you know, uh, little Qualcomm SOCs. Uh, so does this, does this, can I buy one here? Can I buy one of these things? No, oh, they're just sticking in V100 Tensor Core GPUs. Uh, do I think InstaThoughts are beautiful? Yeah, a lot of them. I mean, they put a lot of effort into that stuff, man. Like, you know, some of those girls, like, they'll take, like, a picture in a private jet, and they, like, you know, they just, like, they rent the jet just to sit on the tarmac and take the picture. Like, you know what? But props for them. They're supporting the economy. You made up some, like, stupid TikTok dance. Like, boo. Um, Instagram glorifies beauty. I like Instagram. I know. Despite, despite... Uh, despite not liking Facebook. And I don't like Facebook as a product, right? Facebook as a company, it's like, yeah. I dislike, actually, I dislike Facebook as a product, but like Facebook as a company, I feel better about than Google. Um, Instagram is a great pickup website, too. Uh, well, AMD actually can be competitive. AMD... If AMD got their shit together with software, all right, all right. Radeon Instincts. Let's see what we got. Um, how much watts? 
Oh, oh, 300 watts. Okay, I mean, it is Rock M, but maybe Rock M will get good. Oh, how much? Wait, it's it's only uh, Nvidia A100 is only is only 20 teraflops. I mean, actually, the bigger thing that matters too, it's not just the flops; it's also your memory bandwidth. I've been upset with Rock M. I've just been mostly upset with like trying to get it to build and work. Uh, no, wait, they're not claiming. They're only claiming 13.3. That's not that much. Those are lying flops. No, 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 lying flops. I don't want any lying flops. Real flops. No, oh, this is if I'm looking for a Dell rack. AMD is pushing so good. I good good guy AMD man. How's AMD stock? Well, they deserve it, you know. AMD deserves it, but I hope they don't become scammers. Great, I can buy a UPS. Good link. Um, how much are these? They have a good amount of memory bandwidth. You think their stock will drop after next gen announcements? Uh, Well, the performance to value ratio, yeah, but that's only because, you know, you can't compare with NVIDIA's scam pricing. You have to compare with the real pricing of these things. Which, if you want the real pricing, look at their consumer GPUs. Those are the old AMD cards. The new ones come this fall. Wait, you're telling me these are the old ones? Oh yeah, it's Vega. Yeah. So does this is this is this up to date for the? No. Huh. It's really not many. The GeForce. Oh, wait, where's the TI? Where's the 1080 Ti? Yeah, so these are the numbers that I'm familiar with. It's like 13, uh, well, let's just say a Titan RTX. There are two here. Let's, just, let's give it 15, 15 gigaflops, right? So you're telling me there's newer, there's newer ones than this? And here, you got, you got a link where I can buy them? Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy expensive. You got to compare to NVIDIA's... Uh, you got to compare to NVIDIA's consumer GPUs. Um, yeah, no, that, that's a scam. But when is NVIDIA... Is this still big Navi? Sorry, I haven't, I haven't kept up to date with this stuff. Wait, do they have pictures now? Is that a real picture of a GeForce? We are leaks? No, that's a, is that? Mm. So that's what it's gonna look like. How they do the heat sink is interesting because it determines how many of these we can shove in a box. The second picture was the leaked design. You mean this? This is that scam picture that I've been seeing all over the internet. You're saying this one. No, 
old ones. This is supposedly the leaked design? Yeah, I don't know. Um. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for somebody to build. I mean, Nvidia is priced okay for the consumer GPUs. They just need to stop trying to segment the market artificially. Um, and if they won't do it, maybe I will. Should we build, should we pivot comma? Should we build, should we build uh, TPUs? Um, just wait for a blower heat sink version and rip the blower part off. Yeah, I mean, we, could, we could raise the money to do it. Not GPUs, just, just TPUs. Um, you know, I mean, I really, like, I don't want to be the one who builds them. I would design, eh, even that. You know what? Tesla should just stick their TPUs on PCIe cards. Um, I, yeah, you get TSMC to build them, it's fine. No, I don't want to have to do this. I really, this should be a completely commodity thing. Anybody should be able to build this. Right? Anybody should be able to build this. Can somebody just go steal a TPU from Google and build a duplicator machine? I mean, it's Tesla Dojo. Yeah, it, it is exactly Tesla's Dojo project. Generic data center picture. Um, Tesla AI chip. Yeah. They need to stick... A whole bunch of these, whatever they're using for Dojo, they should sell. Dojo is only on an FPGA implementation now. How do you know that? Um, if anyone was able to build it, they can't sell it as a service. Yeah, these people need to get, wait, Elon tweeted it? <laughs> Oh. Wait, why don't they sell them? Yo, Elon, let's let's go in on it, man. Let's go in on it. I'll, we'll help you out. We'll help you out with software. We just just. Elon, here's the deal I'm willing to make. We'll do free software support for Dojo. You just need to sell the chips. Open Dojo, come on, man. Just sell the chips. You'll make money. I'm not saying sell the chips at a, you know, sell the chips at a reasonable markup. Sell the chips at a 10, 20% markup, right? Um, free money. Uh, FP16 is fine. Open Dojo. Yo, Elon, come on, man. Come on, let's open up Dojo. Dojo has multiply. Yeah, I, I, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen presentations on their, on their other chip. It can do most of the stuff. We'll help you with the software. We'll switch to PyTorch. You guys using PyTorch? We'll use PyTorch. We can all use PyTorch. Fuck TensorFlow. Fuck Google. Let's be, come on, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's build the competitor. Let's crush him, man. Fuck NVIDIA. Fuck Google. Come on. Um, I believe. I believe. Uh, open Dojo. Elon here. I'll think about it. All right. All right. Think about it. You think about it. All you got to do is sell the chips, man. That's all I'm asking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many people we got? People, people still watching this crap? What we got? What we got? How we doing? Ah, a thousand people, not bad. Um, but yeah, good to see we got it. We got another. You know, I do the Haskell stream. No one follows the Haskell stream. Sad. Uh, Uh, 
I'm verified on Twitter, but I don't care about being verified on Twitter because the women on Twitter are not what I'm looking for. It's the women on Instagram that I'm looking for, and that's why I want that blue check mark. Um, actual Elon tweet. I have Twitter blocked on my computer, so I can't see that. Okay, guys. Uh, come work at Comma AI. Uh, you know... We're the underdog to Tesla, let's be honest. You know, I'm not even gonna say that like, if you wanna win. We're the underdog to Tesla, but trust me, we live in a world where we both win. Uh, build Android, we're gonna be two years behind Apple. Uh, you know, but we're gonna, we're gonna capture most of the market share, I think. Um, I mean, I think that's what has to happen. I, I think that these companies, they're not gonna have, you know, Oh, that might, oh yeah, George Hotzman, the guy's a clown, man. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't work in the normal business ways. But they're not going to have a choice. They're going to have to use OpenPilot, right? I mean, it may not be me selling them OpenPilot, but I don't care. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe some, 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 some MBA guy is going to be like, yo, yo, you see this OpenPilot thing? Man, the kid who runs it's an idiot, you know? I'm going to package it up, and I'm going to sell it to Hyundai. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks, you work for me. Except I don't have to pay you and deal with you. That's great. That's what I'm talking about, right? Um, no, LinkedIn is not a good site for dating. I was going hard on LinkedIn recently, uh, and you know, it's not a good site for dating. Um, yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying, right? Like I'm going to let some other, some, some MBA, oh yeah, I'm going to capture all the value. Yeah, you capture the value, man. You could do that, right? Uh, Do I think hinge where they ask you the questions? If you were a fruit, how pointy would you be? Uh, open Tinder. <laughs> um, do I think any of the old car companies have a chance? Yeah, I think I think. Uh... <laughs> Can you leave up the video? Yeah, if you're a subscriber, I don't take the videos down. Um, I think that the car companies aren't going to have a choice uh, but to use OpenPilot. Um, as, as Autopilot becomes, eventually Tesla is going to deliver on these promises. Um, I don't post them on YouTube, somebody else does that. Uh, eventually Tesla is going to deliver on these promises and Autopilot is going to become such a distinguishing feature of the car. And then at this point, the car companies are or like, you know, uh, Mercedes is partnering with NVIDIA uh, to ship uh, NVIDIA GPUs in their S-Class 2023. Yeah, who's writing the software for that? Um, so they're going to try. They're going to have software teams. They're going to be overfunded. They're going to be terribly mismanaged. Uh, they're going to have all the wrong ways of going about the problem. Um, and then it's going to be like a year. You know, the hardware team is going to work on that. And someone's going to realize... Hey, you know, George was right. We're going to have to use OpenPilot. Um, and then, you know, uh, welcome to how to do business development without ever doing any business development. Just make things inevitable, you know? Just like, like the universe. Think of how the universe, think of how the story is going to unfold, right? Think, think, about, think about the narrator. Think about the story and think about how it has to work out. Um, and then you realize that you win. You, you can't mess up, right? Like there's, there's always opportunities for, for pitfalls. There's always, there's always pits to fall in. There's always, there's always wrong turns to make. And there's certainly ways that we can make mistakes. But really the future of self-driving is ours to lose, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, at what, point, at what point was it inevitable? At what point was Android inevitable, right? At, at what point... And you, you, you had, and what makes me think they won't go to other self-driving companies? Um, name another self-driving company that has something that looks like autopilot. Of course winning means everyone uses my software for free. Of course. Yeah, everyone uses the software, that's how you win. Um, Uber doesn't have anything that looks like autopilot. U Uber has broken stuff that killed somebody. Um, at what point will Linux be inevitable? Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think we're a bunch of years past that one, bro. Um, uh, 
uh, who's Linux's competitor? It's Windows and Mac, right? Mobile and Tesla. Those are our competitors. Uh, oh, this is the year of the Linux desktop. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, man. I'm sure. Uh, Linux is most of the internet. All right, Linux one. Um, you didn't hear about Uber killing someone? <laughs> Dude, it's terrible. It's really, it's a terrible story. Um, it was a terrible story. Actually, he's watching that video is why, like, like after I saw that video, I'm like, holy shit, we need to ship driver monitoring. Uh, like, driver monitoring is going to be a big... Uh, there's going to be a big piece of, of the next five to ten years in self-driving. Um, Yandex has something. Uh, again, who's built something that looks like autopilot, not something that looks like Waymo? Um, things that look like Waymo will never really be economically viable. Um, things that look like autopilot will. And this is why open pilot's inevitable. Um, I think it. Might, I think it's too late now. Also, like, it, it's too late now to start a new company, right? So it's not going to be a new company. Um, it's not going to be a project inside of any of these these car companies. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a startup. I mean, you have some like Helm.ai, uh, who are saying Helm and Wave, who are saying like similar things to us, but they're years behind us. Um, I mean, again, yeah, if we stumble and like those people could potentially take take the reins from us, uh, though I also haven't seen, I mean, Baidu is the only one saying open source. Uh, your, your competitor is going to have to really be open source. Um, I think it's, I think, I think we just passed it in, uh, in stars, but yeah. Um, Baidu's going open source. They're using the right rhetoric. They're saying the Android of self-driving cars, but then they went on to build something that looks like Waymo and not like Autopilot. Um, so, yeah, we pass on the stars. It's inevitable. It's, 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 yeah. If you're reading the story, uh, what if Tesla starts licensing the software? So what if Apple started licensing iOS? Right. I think it is more likely that Tesla will sell the Dojo chips than it is that they will license their FSD software. Uh, what's stopping Tesla from open sourcing after they solve FSD? What have they open sourced in the past? I mean, it's possible. Um, it's also, their software is probably much less flexible than ours when it comes to supporting multiple cars. Like how baked in is it to the Tesla um, versus OpenPilot supports over 85 cars now. We support all these different cars. What about new autonomy? You mean bought by Aptiv? This one got bought by Aptiv, right? How about NVIDIA as a competitor? NVIDIA had a shot when they were working with Tesla. Um, where's Mazda? The problem with Mazda is, oh my God, this is, this is too common AI now. I don't care about that. There's a problem with Mazdas. You can, you can read about it. Why is OpenPilot not available for Volvo? There's a problem with Volvos. You can read about it. Um, uh, what do I think of Apple moving to ARM? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I want to buy one of them MacBooks, man. I love Apple. Uh, a push towards standardization of self-driving sensors. Oh, well, first people got to get over the LiDAR shit, you know. Not everybody. I mean, like... Not everybody's on the same page yet, you know. Some people are still are still LIDAR believers. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> uh, how can you accelerate your progress? I mean, again, I'm reading the book, right? How does the book how does how does the book move faster? What is what what are what are the plot events that are going to uh, make things move faster? There's a few people we need to hire to build certain things, but the end team that's going to solve self-driving cars is 25 people. It's, it's not. Um, it's not going to be a ton of people. So yeah, there's a few key roles that we can hire for and maybe help things move faster. Though to be fair, probably 70% of the people we've hired have helped things move faster, and 30% have made things move slower. So you always have to be careful with that. I don't own any Chainlink, but I hear it's going to the moon, man. This is not an endorsement of Chainlink. It's stupid. 
Uh, I, I, can't, I can't believe what's the new. People don't use coin market cap anymore. There's like a new one people use. I don't know it. Um, wow, wow, the Link Marines, the Link Marines. I'm, I'm you know, I, I think Tether's gonna go up. Tether's, Tether's going up, you know? Um, <laughs> All in on tether, bro. Uh, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why Chainlink's pumping. Link Marines. <laughs> What's keeping open power from being level four, or level five? It's because we don't have a LIDAR. No. What did I just talk about all stream? Big connect. Yo, I bought the dip, man, and it just kept dipping. So, you know. Um, no, I think he renamed his child to something reasonable and just did that to troll the media. Yams, bro. Those yams. Wow, a lot happened since we last talked. <laughs> you see? Oh, there was like a... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, the, the yam commits were funny. Oh, it was just like reading the... Yeah, is it this one? Um... No. Oh. Oh, there were just there were just some yam posts. Probably not correct typos. Probably not pending. Uh, warning. Oh yes. <laughs> um, it went from it's a great day to save yam to remove liquidity from the yam Uniswap pool. Uh <laughs> Oh wow, this is this is this is really going off the rails. No, this is a, this is a shill stream for you to come work at comma. Um uh, come work at comma. Uh we're going to win. Uh if you're interviewing for this position or this position and you get past the initial hurdles, uh you, well, we'll do a phone call. Um, I'll ask you a bunch of questions. And if you do well on the questions, uh, we'll invite you to the office uh, for paid micro internship. Where we could talk about joining the team. And we could talk about uh, winning. And you could see all the all the real common AI secrets, right? Like this is the public side. This is the, this is the things we talk about, uh, not the all the subtle tricks that are actually going to make it work. Um, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't mention the Rotterdam office. You think I do the website? I don't do the website, man. I don't do the website. Complain to the website team. I'm a machine learning engineer. Uh, I also have a personal hobby of the navigation, and I want to see it exist. Uh, are we VC funded? We're profitable. We are funded by people buying common tools. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you're interested, I'm, I'm, I'm less interested in shilling for this. I don't really care if you buy it or not. Like in aggregate, enough people buy it, but yeah, like we sell these little things. Uh, they're pretty cool, actually. They're totally worth the money uh, if you get it set up. Um, we've helped people with their green cards, yeah, yeah. We well, we can help with with all sorts of immigration stuff. Um, I mean, I don't, I can't give you a green card, but we can sponsor it, yeah. Um, let you work for free at Comma on a temp basis. So, let me tell you about that, right? People ask this kind of stuff a lot, and the answer is straight up no, right? Because what you're asking is to be managed for free. You are a cost. Like I said, I'd say 70% of the people we've hired at Comma have been a net benefit to the company. 30% have been a net loss, right? And if you're asking if you could work for free, you know, it's not even a money question. It's just a, it's just a productivity question. What could we do if we had 100 software engineers? Honestly, have a bloated, hard-to-maintain code base. Um, would I say everyone who works at Comma, they don't work for me. Right? Who am I? Right? They work for Comma AI. Comma AI is a corporation. Corporations are people. I'm a guy. I work there. Right? 
Um, I'm not your boss, you know? Uh, but I would say that the people who are Yihama AI are very smart, yeah. Um, well, we don't really have any VC money anymore. We spent the VC money. Now we have profit money. When will we go full open source with papers and shit? Okay, let's talk about that. So do you think inside of Comet AI we write papers and we keep them closed source? Yeah, we've got to write papers, but we're going to keep them closed. Um, if you're asking me what you need to learn, it's not like a set of things, man. I'll probe your whole knowledge graph, you know? That's, that's what my interviews are like, right? I, I just start with like, I start with some abstract bullshit question and then I'll, I'll go wherever, wherever you take me, right? And we'll go to the leaves of the knowledge graph. And if it turns out you can go beyond me in the leaves of the knowledge graph and you can teach me something, oh, I'm interested, right? Those are the good interviews, right? Um, the ones who like, here's, like think of the knowledge graphs, right? If you think of knowledge as like a big tree and you can think about like people's overlap, uh, you know, with, with, with my knowledge graph and, you know, people who extend further than me on certain branches are, are very interesting to, 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 to be hired. Um, yeah, shit's documented to some extent. It's not like a beautiful paper. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think, I think once we're, uh, once we've solved the problem, I, I'm, I'm certainly not opposed to, to writing papers. I think when we have something good to say, we'll, we'll, we'll write it up. I don't think like, I'm not like, it's the, it's not a secret. Like there's nothing, there's nothing at comma where I tell people, hey, don't talk about that. Uh, well, actually that's not true. There, there are some secrets, but they're not in the ML division. <laughs> um, you, you can imagine where the secrets are. Um, Yeah, so I mean, we, we talk a little about like what kind of people uh, we're looking for. I mean, this is kind of old, but like competitors, if you've done well at math competitions, if you've done well at competition programming before it was a meme, uh, science fairs in high school, uh, capture the flag competition. Um, if people have contributed value to open source projects. Uh, if you have stars on your GitHub, if you've um, got pull requests merged into major open source projects. We're interested. Uh, and then people who are good at like architecting stuff. These are kind of what our interview questions are. I'm like, if you're going to build this system, how would you architect it? And like people who like make the right decisions here. And the way that you learn to make the right decisions there is you've architected systems similar to the three other times. So, yeah. Um, what's a regular run of the mill dev? I mean, there's no, there's no rote work. At, at comma. Um, no, I mean it's not like 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 everything. If you have if you have other things going for you, it's not like oh I don't know get help with stars. You can't be hired. Um, but notice how none of these are uh, anything to do with uh, a degree or some kind of educations. Yeah, so we do we do. Yeah, we only hire people better than the average, or at least th that's the goal, right? Because if if you're at a company. Um, and you're hiring uh, people better than the average. I mean, this is an interesting. This is, you can talk about this with immigration too, right? Like that should be. This is this is another nice immigration policy idea for America, right? It's like here's the average, right? Is this person who 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 wants to come to America? Are they are they below the average or are they above the average? If they're above the average, please come to America. You're bringing up our average as a country, right? Um, yeah, bar raising, right? Um. I mean, you know, I, I, yeah, like it's the same, it's the same things as, uh, it's just similar to the tax thing, right? If you're going to bring more money into comma, then it's going to cost you. Well, actually there's other costs to that too. So, but, um, you don't give anyone an IQ test. Uh, what about research people? So what do you think research is, right? If you want to sit there and you want to discover some new mathy bullshit, research is actually just, it's, it's, it's infrastructure. Uh, but you get to do cool math occasionally. Like there's a lot of cool math stuff. Like you, you got to write like all like the, hopefully you remember how to do like rotation matrices in three dimensions and shit. You got to deal with all the different frames. Yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you this one open pilot, right? Um, you know, if, if you want to work in the research division, you better understand like this kind of crap. Like here's our reference frames, you know? Uh, you mess up so much. You mess up so like like. There's so many little subtleties here. It's so easy to mess these things up. We have cameras. We have normalized cameras. We have calibrated 
things relative to the camera, relative to the IMU, relative to the Earth's surface, and then we have this library which can transform between all this stuff. Um, the only purpose we serve is Twitch chat, just to stroke George's ego. No, sometimes you guys are good. Like I said, I've complimented chat this time. We had a nice conversation about AI accelerators. Uh, we had a nice conversation. You guys showed me two papers, which I'm gonna read after this stream. Uh, you have a PR immersion to open pilot. Well, that's good. Um, didn't have to ban anyone, nice. Uh, good good stream today, good stream, good. Good, everyone's, everyone's, everyone's you see, that's, that's, that's a nice, uh, nice world. Let's see, how many, how many viewers we at? Uh, wow, I still have it a thousand. Um, I'm not even going to shill for subscribing on this stream. I'm just going to shill for coming to work at Comma. Uh, and, you know, tell, tell your friends, man. And ban you then? Sure, absolutely. You know, it's even, it's a pleasant ban. You're banned. You see, there you go. Um... What's the interview process like? Uh, interested in the navigation designer role. Uh, so email, give me a job at Common AI. You're gonna get hit with one of, there might be some screening questions. There might be some, uh, there might be a, a small programming challenge that should be pretty fun. Um, then usually it's it's one or two phone screens uh, with, with Common employees. We have like an initial, there's like the weeder part uh, and then there's the, the phone screen part, and then we bring you in. Uh, we'll fly you out for a micro internship. Uh, you work in a real code base for two days. Uh, good luck finding someone good willing to do non-remote. I find a lot of people who are good willing to do non-remote. Right? It's just like, like, what do you... Here, here's my real problem with remote more than anything else. Um, you come because you want to join a culture, right? You can go work on code. I mean, you want to work on open pilot remotely? We won't pay you. Just submit pull requests, right? I mean, we don't even pay you a little bit, like a per project kind of thing, if you're doing well on pull requests. But you're not, you're, you're not, you're not an equity employee of the company, right? Um, if this thing does succeed, uh, there's going to be a lot of a lot of money, um, and you know, it's it's like, well, who's the team, right? The team is is is, is a group that's in a place. Uh, remote is great if you hate your job. See, yeah, that's exactly right, right? If you hate your job, like, this isn't a place to work if you hate your job. Um, remote is great if you hate your peers. See, yeah, that's that's another one, too. Like, this is, sure, and these big companies, I, I think, you know, Google used to be so good about, about, about culture um, and about building a kind of culture and about building a kind of place where people, like, just wanted to hang around the office. I... Go, you go back to Google, it's sad. You know, you go back to Google like 12 years ago. That's what it was. Um, I'm not talking about the people who did it for COVID. I'm talking about like the companies who who, who hire remote employees. You can bring your own keyboard, sure. Uh, San Diego is a nice place, yeah. Uh, you know, we're not in San Francisco. We got out, man. We got out. We got out ahead of the curve, you know? Um, can I explain where the equity value will come from? Oh, uh, well, so, I mean, like I said, right? Think about, think about it like this. Um, a lot of people are very concerned with capturing value, right? Um, and if you're working in a market, say like real estate, sure, that's the only thing there is to do, right? It's not like, it's not like there's gonna be a big growth in real estate or anything. There's no, there's no new value to capture. You better capture value. You better be competitive with other people, right? Self-driving cars, and software like OpenPilot is going to create immense amounts of value. Um, what I've always found is it doesn't really matter. When I did the jailbreaks and I asked for donations, it's unclear how much better I really could have monetized them, right? Just by creating and building this value, the money will come to you. How much is Linux worth? So for reference, um, Red Hat sale to IBM. Um, Red Hat, which is a company that supports like really a Linux like like distribution or fork, 
got acquired for $34 billion. Um, wait, are you trolling about the business people? I'm looking for zero business people ever. I don't know what a business person does. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Rotterdam office, nice office, you know, it's, it's building, it's building an environment. Um, yeah, it's a consulting business as well. There, there, there is a lot of ways to, uh, but don't like, like worry about winning. Don't worry about capturing value. Yeah, there really is an office in Rotterdam and we're really hiring for it. Um, how's the full stack interview different than the machine learning one? I don't do the first step of it. After that, they're honestly not that different. I'll, I'll probe your knowledge graph in different places. Um, you need some photo proof for the new office. All right. Let me, let me let me find you photo proof. Here you go. <laughs> uh, got a dose expense. We'll, we'll we'll pay you long enough to live comfortably. It's not. I was I was I was kidding about like the eighty k. Everyone gets paid six figures. Who, who's a programmer? Um. Yeah. Right. Dude, we're a multinational corporation. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm being trolled. I'm not allowed to go to Rotterdam. They won't let me in. Uh, now my U.S. and my Australian passports don't get me in. Um, you don't think you're annoying, as my friend said. Oh well, I mean that's a this is sneak diss, bro. Nice nails. Are they real? Who said I knew about the mystery method? Um, going multinational, don't be evil. Nah, I'm not, we're not evil then. Um, we do adjust to local wages, yeah. Yeah, no shit. You guys think I'm, you know, do I adjust to local wages? Like I said, you're not coming to work for me. You're coming to work at Comet AI. Comet AI is a business with like people who like, you know, do this stuff, right? Not me, right? I'm, 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 like I said, I'm a troll, I'm a cheerleader, and I write some code occasionally. Uh, we're in San Diego. Fuck San Francisco. They gotta clean that city up, you know? It's the Board of Supervisors. Can't build any housing. There's homeless people everywhere. Uh, the city hates, you know, anyone who's bringing money into that city. It's, it's sad. Um... How often do I go to the office when I'm there? I work there full time. Uh, San Diego, like, like, you know, beautiful by the beach. Um, the other problem, one of the other problems with San Francisco is it's politically homogenous or like it's a one party, it's a one party state. Uh, San Francisco is, is, is uh, San Diego is, is two party. Um, you know, it's like, like you have, you have more, just, you get, you get like saner policies. Uh, San Diego does a nice zoo as well. Um, <laughs> SF is the human poop in the street. No, I mean also the crime in SF is unbelievable. Uh, I, I, we, we had we had two car windows broken. I had my car broken into. Uh, we had a homeless woman who broke into our office and spent a night there. It's just, what are you paying for? Um, yeah, Austin. Austin's an interesting. Yeah, no, seriously. We 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 had a homeless woman spend a night in 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 our San Francisco office. Um, just just you know, and it's it's like it's not this. These aren't crimes there. Uh, yeah, Austin has some things going for it. California, California, you got the ocean, man. You got, you got, 
it's it's it's, it's beautiful it's chill uh i think do i agree with teal not about many things but about sf sure um if there i'm when I'm, I'm flying back i'm flying i'm flying to la tomorrow uh if there's rolling blackouts in california i'm gonna be mad pissed um how's dating in san diego better than san francisco yeah well i like the legal weed too i'm big on legal weed you know i got arrested in texas for weed once um no i'm not wearing a mask bro um Yeah, Amsterdam. We got we got legal weed too. Legal legal weed. All our all our offices are in places with legal weed. Uh, all right, no weed tangent. Um, no, I didn't go to jail. I was arrested, and I was I was wrongfully arrested, and the arrest was expunged from my record. That's right. Um. Went office in Amsterdam, only Rotterdam. Amsterdam, it's the same, it's the same, it's not so expensive to live there. Um, well, yeah, but Texas doesn't honor my medical prescription for marijuana. But they do if it's THC, man, you know, got my lawyers thinking, but no, nah, we're not, we're not, we're not talking about that. All I can say is I've never been convicted of a crime. I was wrongfully arrested. Um, is the speed challenge optional? If you do well on the speed challenge, I'll be impressed. Uh, honestly, if you write an email to give me a job at Comma AI, and you like make a compelling case for yourself. And I think a lot of people, you know, I shouldn't say that because what a lot of people think is a compelling case is really not a very compelling case. Like I will work for you for free. All I see is you're gonna cost a lot of money to manage. Um, I know I said I was ending the stream two hours ago. But we got so many people here. Oh, it's, it's, it's declining a little bit now. So, so maybe now, now we, can, we, can, we can end up the stream. Am I a Twitch partner now? That's what I want to know. Twitch made me a partner. I'm, I'm, I'm a good person. I'm on board for the Bezos revolution. I support Bezos. We only say good things about Amazon. I said good thing. I said I, it was constructive criticism, you know, about when I was talking about the, about the, about the, uh, the, the, the selling uh, experience being subpar. My purchasing experience is, is excellent, and, and Bezos, I, I wish you best of luck on your on your space internet and on your on your on your rocket company and on you build an electric car yet? Um, oh no, yes, you're oh yes, you are building an electric car. Your Zooks, yes, yes. I didn't rip on Zooks once. I'll stream. Come on, Jeff Bezos, let me be a, let me be a Twitch streamer, <laughs> let me be a Twitch partner. <laughs> <laughs> billion dollars, man. And yeah, people think Com AI is not, you know. Zooks is worth a billion dollars and they have nothing. And Com has open pile with thousands of users. Are we a unicorn? I don't know. Tune in next stream to find out. And actually, we're going to play Fall Guys on next stream. Uh, yeah, if you want to work at Com AI, Com AI slash jobs. Uh, hopefully, this gives you an idea of, 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 of what we're about. Uh, level three in three years. Real promises, not fake promises. I think it's actually doable. We had a long talk about it as an office. Uh, yeah. Bye, everybody.